Well, hello friends. Thanks for joining me in the shop today. Today we're going to be talking about some things on a French horn. One of the biggest things that we see besides from a broken string or a rotary valve being stuck, what we see is that a bumper has gotten lost. So what we're going to do today is make a bumper. Come join along. Today I have my very lovely assistant, the lovely Miss Kay. She's going to be helping me out and kind of filming over my shoulder. So if you want to go ahead and step over here, we'll kind of discuss some things. So let's talk about how a rotary valve is put together. This is called the bearing plate. Inside of here is the rotor itself. And this is the back spindle. So if we knock this guy out, you'll see that's our bearing plate. And then notice the rotor itself is pretty simple. It moves between these marks there to there to allow airflow. Are you getting that, Miss Kay? I think so. Great. To allow air to go either here or rotates back and goes there out. And it's the same thing. Now, this is off of an F attachment trombone, but it's the same principle on a French horn. It's a double horn. So it has a set up top for and a set on the bottom. One side is for F and one side is for B flat. When the bumpers are properly installed, the mission marks will line up. See that? They will line up, and that will let you know that you have proper airflow. When the mission mark, when you lose a bumper in that mission mark, see how it doesn't look like it's very much past the point? But check this out. When you rotate this over and you look in that port, can you see that? That's almost 20% of the valve, see there? That gets covered up. Please just, just plays havoc with intonation and the playability of the instrument, okay? So that's what we're gonna address today. Now what we're gonna use today, friends, everybody, all of our good students, keep a pencil in their case, right? To make notes on the charts. So we're gonna use one of those. And then my old favorite, our waterproof tape. I think in this kit that I've built, I've used this waterproof tape for as much, I think in every example. It's pretty cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our Swiss Army knife and we're gonna pry out this eraser. Okay, you got that. Now, let's see if we get lucky, if it'll just fit in here. No. You got that, Miss Kay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to have to do some trimming on this. So, we're going to make our first cut and put a flat in, and then cut and recheck now that goes in all right i'm going to flip over and we're going to look at these mission marks so that's our first one you got that yes and then when we bring it over now you see it's about as much as it was going past before it's coming short of now so that's still going to cause problems for us so we're going to pry that back out and we're going to make another cut and then reinstall. Kind of pop that bumper a little bit so we can seat it in there. All right, let's check it again. Are you ready? There's... The one way and there's the other way so we're in perfect alignment 
Now what that's going to mean is that everything temporarily is lined up and the player will have good intonation. All right. Now let's say that we don't have a pencil, so we don't have an eraser. We're going to take our waterproof tape. Going to make a cut. And we're just going to try to tight roll this to about what we think ought to be the size. That's pretty close. I'm going to trim this. Now, I didn't do so good on my ends, so I'm going to trim that square. I'm going to trim that square so you have a shot of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to come back to the instrument. And this is pretty squishy stuff so I can get it to go in. Mm -hmm. But what this is obviously way too long. So we will make a cut to let it know where we're going to get started from. We'll pull this back out. Move to the block and cut that off. And so now we have a small piece of bumper material. Okay. Now we'll move back to the instrument and we'll squash it down. All right, now I'll let you get a close up of that as we free installed it in the mm -hmm. instrument. Now remember, see, this is going to be pretty squishy. So, all right, I'm going to flip around. And it's a little bit shy. Gotcha. Okay. So, we're going to need to trim a little bit. We're going to pull this back off. And we're going to make a cut right there. We're going to reinstall. Okay. Let's check it again. That looks uh, pretty good. Is it good to go? It's good to go. So there you go, friends. Thank you, Miss Kay. You're welcome. Your Swiss Army knife, your waterproof tape, should have a pencil. But you can make bumpers on the go keep the instrument playing fine, then it's no problem when you take it in to your repair technician and he either replaces it with cork, uh, tube cork, or a neoprene bumper, or even now some of them have the silicone bumpers. So um, there you go. You're good to go. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time around.